Hello, Keith Rucker here at VintageMachinery.org. Guys, today we're going to start on a project. I want to restore uh, a couple of these old ice cream churns. These are some recent purchases that I picked up not too long ago. And what these are, these are antique, I, I say they're antique, they're old anyway, uh, White Mountain ice cream churns. These are commercial grade. Of course, White Mountain's still in business. They make the old hand cranked ice cream churns uh, that many people have probably seen and used over the years. This is a commercial model that they made. Uh, I don't know exactly when they started and quit making these. I've seen some references that they were still making these up until sometime in the early 1980s. I don't know exactly when they discontinued them. Uh, they were obviously introduced much longer ago than that. Uh, cast iron classic uh, uh, construction here that's just good vintage iron. So, uh, but they did continue making these, at least on up into the 1980s. Uh, what really separates these from the, the smaller hand crank ones is, again, this is a commercial size unit. And it was made to turn a 20 quart ice cream uh, bucket. So uh, instead, you know, most, most of the ice cream churns that you see or saw, two quarts, four quarts, maybe eight quarts, 20 quarts. That's, that's five gallons. Think a five gallon bucket of ice cream every time you use one of these. I recently bought both of these units. Uh, obviously, they're in, used and, and they are in need of a lot of work. Uh, one of them came with the bucket. Actually, both of them came with the wooden bucket. One of the buckets is messed up. Probably going to end up remaking those uh, for both of them. I know there's a few issues with them. My goal today, though, is I want to tear both of these down, basically take them down to their components and really uh, look at all the parts and see if there's anything major wrong and kind of come up with a game plan on actually getting this part of it restored. So let's get in here and get it done. So first thing I want to do is just kind of check out and see mechanically if these things even run or not. So they both are powered by an electric motor. This is a three quarter horsepower motor and these are appear to be fairly new motors, probably not original to these turns. Uh, they're both set up a little bit different, but basically the same motor. And uh, so I got, power plug here. Let's plug it in. See what happens. We got a little uh, switch here. And the motor is spinning up, but it's not turning. Something is, looks like it may be jammed on this one. I see, I see the, the pulley trying to turn. It looks like maybe the arm, uh, something's not turning in that. So um, let's look at the other one over here. All right, this one here's got a, uh, switch on it and it appears to be uh, running on this one so everything seems to be turning no major issues at least there so anyway one out of two this one here something's jammed in there we'll probably figure that out as we start tearing into it let's start taking these things apart i think we'll start by trying to take these motors off I uh, got a lot of rust and corrosion up in here, so I'm going to put a little penetrating oil on these. And I'm not even sure. Yeah, I guess there is. I was about to say, I don't know if there's even a bolt up on the front side. Let's see if we can get these out without stripping these things out. This is corroded. You know, these machines, um, they use rock salt to help keep the ice cold. And it looks like the salt has definitely caused a good bit of corrosion in places on these things over the years. Fortunately, the cast iron holds up pretty well to that, but the steel base on this motor um, is not in good shape. And these steel bolts, not quite as in good a shape. This is not gonna be fun. I'm going to take a lead hammer here and see if I can kind of shock them a little bit to get them turning. This thing's wanting to come off of that it's top of the bolt here. This is not good. Now ah, that one came. When I put these back together, I'm going to probably use some stainless steel bolts that won't corrode as bad. All 
All right, I'm resorting here to brute force. I've got a set of vice grips on this. The head is just, wrench is just stripping on it. So let's see if I can break it loose. Taking a center punch now and just kind of see if I can just get it to break loose. I think if I get it to break loose, it'll come out. Look like it may have broke loose. I think it's coming now. It is. I'm gonna get a regular pair of pliers. I hate to have to resort to this kind of stuff with a bolt because, but this one here was just so far gone that we just had to get some brute force on it. The wrench is not gonna fit on this thing at all now. But uh, use a few tricks. Looks like we're going to get it. Looks like we're going to win. Coming out with my fingers now. All right. One ugly bolt. I think I got another one up front. It's going to be hard to get that one on camera. I'll get that one out and we'll be back. Having a really difficult time getting to these bolts on the back side of this motor. And I think what I'm going to try to do is pull this gear off and this cover off where I can just get back there and get access to it. So let me see if we can uh, get this thing to come off without too much trouble. There's a set screw it's holding that in place. That is now rotating on that shaft. so. gear puller on here and we're gonna yeah, pull out. Whoop. Some jaws are wanting to slip out. There we go. All right, get that off. Well I got the motor off guys. It took a good bit of work. This bolt over here actually broke. So now I've got a broken bolt in there. This one here I was not able to get. I just basically it mutilated the head. I ended up taking a drill and drilling up from the bottom and basically drilling that bolt out. But we got them out. We'll deal with uh, we'll deal with the motor mounts and so forth later on. The motor, the base of this motor was completely just corroded away to the point that uh, even if that motor runs, uh, I, I really can't see using it unless unless we uh, can somehow replace the whole motor mount up under the bottom. And honestly, I'm not sure that motor's in good shape anyway. So uh, anyway, it's off. So let's move on and continue uh, disassembling. Well, it felt like a while ago there was something frozen up in this head here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this cover off. See what we're dealing with. Looks like we got some broken ears on that casting. So we'll have to decide what we want to do about that later on and we get that open and let's see what we got dealing with in the here I see some cracks but I think that yeah that's just grease so uh, that's not too terribly bad okay that comes out so it looks like the top shaft is wanting to turn but this whole assembly here seems to be frozen up so I'm um, not sure what's going on there. I may see if we can go ahead and take that top cover off. There we go. Yeah that shaft there is just froze up really good so um, to figure out how to get that out. Take this cover off the bottom of this gear head too. See if there's something going on in there that's holding it up. They got it packed with grease, that's for sure. All this up here is just grease.
All right, let's see if we can separate this uh, shaft out of here. shaft out this uh there's some bronze bushings that are in here on either side and that's actually what this thing is pivoting on are those actual bronze bushings so i'm gonna have to look and see if i can figure out how to get those out now without messing everything up this whole upper arm like i mentioned a minute ago pivots and there's it's actually pivoting on two bronze bushings that are pressed through here that that inner shaft rides on so I want to get those bushings out. I'm gonna take a little bronze rod here, brass rod, whatever you want to call it. See if I can drive those out. Yeah, it's moving. All right, I'm gonna drive the other one out a little bit before it completely loses contact over here. So let me come from the other direction. So I'm going to replace these bronze bushings. I'm not too worried if uh, we get a little beat up in there. I think, I think that one is out. So let me get the other one all the way out. And I better support that while I'm at it. I need a third hand. I know that's probably in your way, but I want that down instead of up so that it falls. It doesn't fall as far. There it comes. This shaft on this uh, arm here is froze up and it is froze up hard. I do not know exactly what's going on with it, but it will not move. I've tried all kinds of things. I think what I'm gonna do is put some heat on these bearing journals and just see if I can break something loose in there, hopefully without breaking anything. Uh, but that's gonna kind of be my game plan here. I'm gonna get my torch out and uh, put a little heat in there. A lot of grease in here, so it's probably going to make some smoke. All right, we got some heat in there. Let's see what happens. If we put some vice grips on this and just see if I can get it to move. Doesn't look like it's doing much. All right. moving. Only under pressure, but it is moving. That's an improvement. Let's see if we can get it to break loose. All 
It's huh. doing a little bit of a turn, but not a full revolution. While we're waiting on that to cool down over there, I'm gonna go ahead and drive these uh, brown bronze bushings on out. There we go on that one. And we'll get the other side as well. Go ahead and take this upper yoke off. There's a, a set screw in here to adjust it, it looks like. And then there's a um, bolt here that goes through a little ear that tightens and clamps that in place. So hopefully when we take all this off, it'll come off of there. Just like everything else, it's gonna give us trouble. Let's see what happens. That's a good sign. I've been struggling trying to get these pieces apart. So this has all been froze up and I've been not exactly sure what's going on, but I finally just broke down. I said, you know what? I want to just try to saw this gear off down here and then see if I can pull it out through the top. Uh, I came in and I just cut the shaft. And what's interesting is that the bottom half of this is turning fine. The top half of it, it's all froze up. So it's froze up in this upper section. Still not sure what's going on. I'm just guessing that that bearing there, that bronze bearing is just galled up or something. But I think what I'm gonna do now is, uh, I think I can get in here with my Sawzall, a little metal cutting saw, and I'm just gonna zip this gear off to the end and get it out. And then we'll worry about trying to get that top section out. I'm gonna have to make a new shaft anyway, so no big deal. Wow, that's done gotten hard in there, it looks like. Shaft cut easy up here. I'm guessing some heat's gotten into this over time. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah, it's barely even scratched that shaft. Yeah, this thing's turning into a pain. I think we're getting it now. I had to switch over to a carbide tip blade to get through this, but uh, looks like it's cutting it now. All right, I think I got it. That gear's probably hot. There it is. Wow, that joker was stubborn. But we got it. I ended up just taking my sawzall and cutting the gear off the top. This little stob in here has just been incredibly stubborn. It will not turn, it will not move. I tried driving it out this way, it wouldn't go. I'm gonna try to drive it out this way. It looks like it was gonna move. And it is. So hopefully I can get this out. There it goes. Wow. This little joker here. I just don't understand why it was so stuck. I don't see really anything in here to indicate why it would not turn or move but that thing has been a pain. Anyway, we got it out. Uh, I need to get the bottom stem out and uh, I think we'll be ready. I may end up just uh, cutting this off so that I can drive it out. It's a little bit too long. It's gonna interfere up here on this top shaft and I don't wanna get and deal with that again, but uh, looks like we back got this thing knocked out. 
Well, finally, guys, success. I think I have completely disassembled this ice cream churn, and I will be the first to tell you that it was a much bigger job than what I was anticipating. Uh, this thing has, uh, mostly the issues were just things were just stuck and difficult to get apart. I'm sitting here looking at the, the parts and pieces, and yes, we do have some issues that I'm gonna have to deal with, uh, but really, the probably the biggest issue that we that I see anywhere is just the, the amount of corrosion on a lot of this stuff. Now, cast iron usually doesn't really rust that bad, but because uh, you're mixing up water and salt with the mix, you know, in, in the ice cream churn, you got all that salt water. That salt is a lot more corrosive, and particularly down here on the base and so forth. I think I broke every bolt trying to take that thing apart uh, because they were just rotted away. So we're going to have to do a lot of getter outs over there to get bolts out. Um, you know, I've got ears broken off of this casting. Honestly, it probably won't matter, but we may see about doing something to fix that. Uh, a couple of the gears in here have got some fairly excessive wear on them. Uh, they're still operational at this point in time and probably have more life in them than I'll ever put on this thing. Uh, but again, I gotta decide what am I gonna do? Am I gonna try to uh, make new parts? Uh, because these parts really aren't available to my knowledge, uh, at least not the gears and so forth. Uh, so, you know, this is definitely stuff that's doable, things that I could probably make, uh, but it's gonna require a good bit of effort to do so. So I'm gonna have to just get in here and really evaluate everything and uh, come up with a game plan. Now, I only took one of the churns apart today. I still got the second churn back there behind it, and I think what I'm gonna do, since that churn basically can be used as is, um, this churn here was froze up and would not run, I think what I'm gonna do is leave that one intact for the time being uh, and get this one completely restored and then go back and we'll probably do that one down the road. Uh, but uh, you know, I can, I can use that one if I need to or want to. So uh, that's kind of my game plan right now. Let's just do these one at a time. So that's where we are. I'm sure you guys will be seeing some more videos uh, on this project as we move forward and work on the individual pieces that need to be worked on. Uh, but part one is disassembled. Good news is, is I don't see anything that I really consider to be a just deal breaker, major problem with this thing. I think everything in here we can deal with. Uh, so this is gonna be a fun project to, to get back restored and get her back up and going. Hopefully as good as new. And with that, that's gonna be a wrap guys. Thanks for watching as always. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comments are always appreciated and we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.